Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tawny and I love to do detailed handbag reviews and comparison so that hopefully it's helpful if you're looking to make a purchase. Today we're going to be doing another Coach Outlet Haul. So I've got four bags that I ordered off of the Coach Outlet website that I'm going to go over with you. Just like all my other videos, I'll show you the details of the bag. I'll show you the measurements and the weight of each bag. I'll show you what fits in the bag, and I'll also show you some modeling shots. This bag is called the Molly Tote 25. This is the smaller of another model that they have, which is just the Molly Tote. Um, it comes in different canvas and leather options, and I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video because I want to do a comparison of this bag with the Tory Burch bag that I have. So we'll save this one for another video. This is the small camera bag with quilting. This is the Molly bucket bag, and this is the zip top tote. So we'll go over all three of those in detail in this video. Let's start with the small camera bag with quilting. So this is made out of Napa leather and it's very soft and it kind of has that puffy quilting kind of pillowy look to it, which is on trend right now. And it's a cute kind of oval shape, very puffy all throughout. So on the front, we've got this little turn lock pocket here that's kind of slim, but it, you know, could probably pick, fit maybe some cards or maybe some receipts in there. And it's got a zipped opening. And inside is this kind of mustardy tan color. There is an open slip pocket in the back and another little card holder in the front, just one pocket there. And in the back, just more quilting, no pocket, and just very smooth leather on the bottom. There's the little coach hang tag. The strap is removable, and it's got chain detailing, and then it goes to chain here, but in the center it is leather. And it's got a fair amount of adjustments on the strap, so you can adjust it for um, crossbody wear of different lengths. So that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and measure this bag. So it is approximately seven and a half inches long, five and a half inches tall. and about two and a half inches wide. Okay, the bag weighs 13 ounces, so very lightweight. Let's see what fits in the bag. So it's just about the length of a full-size wallet, so you're not gonna be able to fit that in there but you could fit a smaller wallet, like a zippy coin purse there. And this is an iPhone 12 case that will fit in there as well. I've got a lipstick and that can all fit in there. And of course you can fit just cards by itself there, but let's see if this card holder can fit in the front. So not quite, so it's not tall enough to fit a card holder in that little front pocket. So this is great if you just want bare essentials, wallet, phone, lipstick, and you're good to go. So this bag is super cute. Um, I think it's nice because it does give you that trendy pillow puffy bag look without spending too much money. Um, it does come in leather, different color leather, and it also comes in different canvas options. And it's just a lightweight, you know, easy to wear, 
um, crossbody bag with the adjustable strap, which is great. So it just holds the bare essential, but super cute. So that's a really nice option if you want that pillow kind of puffy, puffy bag look. Next up is the zip top tote. I've been using this bag for the last week or two for work and it's been great. Um, it has been not too big, but it's also not super tiny. So it does hold all the things I need to take to work. Um, you can see that it's got this really pretty grained leather. So almost like a Safiano leather. So it's kind of shiny and smooth in some ways, but there's a texture to it. Um, so if you do spill anything on it, it's really easy to wipe up and clean up and it's very durable so it doesn't show scratches or it doesn't scratch up as easily. Very plain on the outside, no zippers or pockets. And the bottom doesn't have any feet but it is reinforced. And just very simple straps, not adjustable. And on the top, you've got a zipper that opens up to the inside. So in the back, you've got a slightly larger slip pocket. And on the front, there are two smaller zip pockets there. So the bag measures 11 inches at the bottom and it kind of goes a little bit wider to about 15 at the top. And the height is about 10 inches and the width the widest part at the bottom here is going to be about four and a half inches drop of the handles is 10 inches the bag weighs one pound and almost four ounces okay let's see what fits in the bag i've got a standard size ipad and that fits in there easily I have a 500 milliliter or 17 ounce bottle of water that fits there. Got a full size wallet and that can fit standing up even. Got a large size sunglass case. and a mini pochette. Okay, I've got an iPhone 12 case, so that can fit laying even sideways on that back slip pocket or standing up. Let's see if it fits on the other ones. And it also fits standing up on the front slip pockets. So we'll leave that in the back. And the front, we can fit a card holder, we can fit a key pouch. I can also fit a zippy coin wallet, a travel size perfume, my AirPods, and all of that will fit easily and can be zipped up with even some room to spare. So if you wanted to fit even more, you could. So I highly recommend the zip top tote. Like I said, I've been using it for a week or two for work and it's just been great. I like the length of the drop of the handle. It's comfortable enough for me to wear on my shoulder and to still access my items without having to take the bag off my shoulder. I like that there's a zip so you can secure your items there if you need to. I like that there are a good amount of pockets for organization of your items. I like that it's a lightweight bag that carries a lot and it's also not too big to become kind of bulky and get in the way but it carries more than what you would need on a daily basis i also like that it's very elegant and simple so it actually looks quite expensive even though it's not very expensive at all and it's fairly understated it's just this grain leather with just a small coach logo and no other really flashy or showy um, emblems or prints or anything like that so it can suit you for many occasions the last bag that we're going to go over is the molly bucket bag 
So this is the larger of the two sizes that are available. There is also a Molly Bucket Bag 22, which is a smaller, more crossbody size, whereas this one is a little bit larger and it comes with a detachable shoulder strap as well as a detachable and adjustable strap to be used as a crossbody bag. So it is made out of double faced leather. So you've got this beautiful, they call it chalk. So it's kind of like a cream white, soft white color. And it's that textured grained leather, which is fairly smooth. And on the inside, it's really pretty. It's got a pink lining and a more like burgundy color center divider pocket. On the website, it shows a different color, but it's actually pink here. So let's take a look on the outside. You've got the coach emblem here, and you've got pretty plain outside, just that smooth leather all around with the seam on the side, just a flat bottom, no feet or anything. And they've got the coach hang tag, and then of course, like I said, the straps. On the inside, on the front compartment, there is a magnetic snap closure. And this is an interesting detail. There's another coach emblem on the inside there. I don't know what that's for. And on the back compartment is, again, another magnetic snap closure. And the center divider has a pocket, pretty deep pocket, goes all the way down. And there's also a slip pocket in the back there. So. Okay, the measurements of the bag are approximately 11 and a half inches in length. And 11 and a half inches tall. And four inches in width. The bag with both straps on weighs one pound and nine ounces. All right, let's see what fits in this bag. I've got my standard size iPad again, and that fits e easily in one of the pockets, anyone. I've got a full size wallet. A large sunglass case a standard size bottle of water a mini pochette I've got an iPhone 12 case. So that can fit in that pocket. There's a slip pocket in the center divider. So that actually fits that way, either standing up or laying sideways. So that's really convenient. That way you don't have to dig around for your phone. And let's see, I'll put these kind of smaller items in that center pocket. So I've got this travel size perfume. I've got a key pouch, a card holder, and even my AirPods. So it just really depends on you know how how open you're okay having this bag because this is pretty stuffed on the front. The center divider is pretty stuffed. The iPad makes it so that you can't close the magnetic snap closure right there. But if you're okay with just kind of leaving it open, that's fine. But all of those items also fit in this bag too. So I really like this bag as well. I'm a fan of bucket bags in general. So this one is actually really nice, especially because the, the width of the bag is fairly thin where you can still wear it as a crossbody and not feel like it's sticking out too far from your body. A lot of time bucket bags are almost like a square. So they kind of tend to stick out a lot. So I know that that's, one reason why people tend to not gravitate towards them, but this one is fairly thin, so that's great. This is available in leather and canvas options. I've really been on the hunt for a white handbag, so this might be it. The fact that it's this grained leather, not quite 
as Safiano like as the zip top tote, but I still think that this will be fairly resistant to color transfer as opposed to let's say that smaller camera bag with the quilting that was a Napa leather where I'd be a little bit more concerned about color transfer if the bag is rubbing up against like dark denim jeans but I really like this I like the fact that there is a shoulder strap that's comfortable I can access my items while I'm wearing this and I love the fact that they give you a strap that you can use for crossbody wear and that there are a lot of adjustments available to it. I think Coach does a great job with that. The straps always have like seven different holes so that you can adjust it to exactly the length that you want it to be at. Also the inside's really nice with um, the different color. I think the pink and the burgundy go really well with the, the off-white and the center divider having that extra slip pocket is also really nice too to provide a little more organization so the only downside i could see is what if you weren't a fan of how tall the bag is if you felt like some of your items would kind of get lost at the bottom this bag might not be for you but there is also that smaller bucket bag option the molly bucket bag 22 that could be a good option if you felt this was a little bit too big for you but i really like it Okay guys, that wraps up my coach outlet haul. Hopefully this was helpful and hopefully it helped you decide whether or not you needed any of these bags in your life. I will make sure to link all of them down below so that way if you wanted to shop, you can go ahead and easily find the exact bags that I talked about today. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give the video a like and please make sure to click and subscribe to my channel down below. It's free to do so and it really helps me out. So I really appreciate you watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.